Hello. Hi. <laughs> Sage and I are just out on a walk and uh, it's been about a little less, maybe about a year since we've been back to this spot because it's finally nice and warm out again. And this is a reservoir by us. And there's a, some beach that you can walk on. So that's what we were just doing. And yeah. uh, Sage was just saying how she feels so much different than last year being mm -hmm. here. And did you want to share a little bit about that? Yeah, um, it just, I think like last year, com well this year compared to last year, like just coming here, walking around in a public space, you know, and stuff like that. Like I feel a lot more um, like confident in myself and accepting of myself. And I've been working on that a lot, you know, just loving and accepting myself in general and seeing myself as beautiful and good and stuff like that. And so, anyway, yeah, so I've been working on that all the time, you know, doing the inner work we do and stuff and doing, getting um, coaching sessions and stuff like that to help me love myself. And now, yeah, like coming here today, I just, I was really even, I would say surprised at how much better I felt compared to last year. It just really hit me coming out here, how much better I felt where I was like, I'm not, I'm not really judging myself and I'm not really not as self-conscious yeah feeling like awkward or like what people worrying about what people might think about me and my appearance you know like and stuff like that so and it I think it's um especially relevant uh for other trans people but just for anybody because every everyone goes through this just remember that you know, you're not alone and you're never in like a situation where like you have this completely unique issue and problem and you're alone because we, everyone goes through this. But, but for me, it's, it's been through that lens of being trans and stuff like that. And yeah. And feeling like, oh, maybe people will judge me or something based on my appearance. But as I've healed that in myself and just focused on that, my appearance hasn't really changed that much, but my feeling in myself has changed like a thousand times. A thousand times, like it's just crazy. Yeah, how much, that's awesome. Yeah, it's like how much more at ease I feel in myself and happy yeah. and stuff, peaceful with myself. Yeah, good. so it's good. good. Yeah. Yeah, so we just wanted to share our little walk and talk yeah. with you guys. and. Um, hope you are somewhere where the weather's nice and you're enjoying it. And uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Wait, did you have anything to say? No. Oh, okay. no, you said it. No, oh, I don't okay. really. I don't really have anything to add. Oh, okay. just, yeah, it's just really nice. Yeah. 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 Cool. Yeah. All right. Oh, yeah. Oh, I did want to say. I did want to say something too. Okay. Um, because I forgot. So. Yeah, definitely one experience there. Like for some reason, I rarely go anywhere. I don't really go anywhere where I have to like wait in line for the women's bathroom, for the bathroom at all. Um, but I did today and I did experience what I felt was, but you never really, you don't, often you don't really know, but I did experience what I felt was people being uncomfortable or like judging me or being like, does this person really belong here or whatever. But the difference to, it's not like I don't experience that anymore. I just, I experience it the the feelings of judgment a lot less but when it does come up um at least today you know i felt a lot more at peace and able to to move through it and to like not really be affected by because people could still be that way toward you you might attract it less the more you love yourself but you might still experience people be or people might be like that to you but you don't experience it as like oh i feel so judged or i feel so bad about myself because you don't you don't judge yourself you don't feel bad about yourself so that's what I experienced and yeah it's it's much better I just wanted to add that piece mm -hmm. in because it's important because I know a lot of people probably do feel that way and experience that I mean yeah yeah I even feel that way sometimes going into the men's room like I mean I, no I mean I don't get any looks or judgment or anything but sometimes I just yeah. feel like different um because like I can't use the urinal right I have to use the stall um, 
for now, not for long, hopefully. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's just like, yeah, I could feel in myself, I feel a bit different, I guess, than other men going into the men's room. And, um, but like, that's just somewhere where I can notice that I may f still feel like judging and self-conscious of myself and I can just like let that go and um, love myself there and be confident in myself. And it really doesn't matter. Like no one really cares, you know, like, or they shouldn't care. Cause that's like, yeah, it's personal. Like you're using the restroom who gives a shit what you're doing, right? you know? So yeah, yeah. that's yeah. all. That's, but yeah, that's it. So, but it's, yeah, it's nice. It's just, um, it's a much better experience and yeah. Yeah. It just, yeah, that yeah. stuff doesn't really come up very often for me. But when it does, it's really nice to know, well, I know what to do. I know how to move through this. I'm going to feel better. And then cumulatively, as you keep healing, you keep feeling your, being in touch with your feelings and loving yourself, cumul cumulatively, you keep doing that. And then you just, you come to these moments like I did today, where I was like, oh my God, the last time I was here, I felt so much more so much worse compared to this i feel so much better now you have those moments because yep. you've been working on yourself inside so that's yeah. what really matters you know yeah. lots yeah. of healing yeah and it works yeah so cool that's it okay yeah. cool thanks for watching thank you bye bye <laughs>